now you have a situation where I think if you just count forwards, mm-hmm. I think I saw somewhere, it's, it's 10 people now that they have. That's right. Uh, obviously, Ansu Fati's injured. He's going to come back for a while. Um, does he fit the type of football that Xavi wants to play in terms of when we think of Alba, we think of his, his bigger skills, mm-hmm. the running behind and whatever. It seems the more pace. like a counter-attacking transition type. Completely. Completely. And I'm, I'm waiting to see. I mean, uh, there's, there's a point to be made that him and Dembele played together in a two-hole team at Dortmund that also had a lot of the ball at times, but yet they were very, far more vertical than, than Barca are right now with Xavi. I still think that he can't really play with his back to goal. He can't hold the ball up. He can't link up the play. And I think that's what that's the number nine that Xavi needs in his team. When you have 65 or 70 percent of the ball, he can't play in small spaces. He needs that that space to run in behind, and he doesn't have that. So it'd be very interesting to see what he does. I mean, I don't think Luke De Jong is a is a Xavi Barca player either. I don't think right now they have a number nine Breathweight either. If you really want to push it to Breathweight, Ferran Torres can play there, and he's probably the best number nine they have in the Barca DNA. Which brings me to. Memphis. I touched upon it before. I, I, I think Memphis is a supremely talented yeah, player. I, agree. I think he's already shown that he's done this at Barcelona. But there's, an issue, you, there's an issue with Xavi, yeah? Otherwise, he would have played him more since he arrived at the club. Who's more talented than Memphis at this club? Technically, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, not many people. Ansu? Ansu, Gavi. Like, Gavi fit? Pedri, those kind of very, very technical players. But not on Memphis's level, and they don't have the goals that Memphis yeah, yeah. has and, and, and whatever, right? in his position, yeah. So, but why, why is you not reckon this? But this is under this is an underreported story, then. Yeah, yeah, completely. I think. I mean, I, I'd love to know, like, uh, and what's going on. Yeah, I, so I think there was uh, there was an injury, but but still, unless he doesn't think that Memphis fit the mood and the again the way the way they play, but you would think. I think Memphis is a very intelligent player. Like he can adapt to different systems, different formation, different organization. You, you want him to move in certain areas, he can do that. I, th- I think he would be, oh, well, I thought he would, but clearly Xavi doesn't seem to think. Well, the other thing is if you go back, um, you know, and you look, at, you look at Xavi and you look at even his own experience as a player, if you want to view Memphis Depay as a non-traditional center forward or whatever, Xavi's Barcelona did their best work without a traditional center forward. Yeah, completely. You know, um, and I'm talking obviously later they got Suarez and they had the year with Ibra. But, yeah, yeah. but other than that, if you look at the people who, you know, you had Messi through the middle sometimes, yeah, yeah. you had, you know, Thierry Henry. I mean, I, I'm not saying that Memphis is Messi, but you, you've, you came through in a, in, a, in a scenario where you had an allowance for that very talented guy who had that extra freedom. Yeah, yeah. Why move away from it? Now, I, 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 again, unless, we don't know. Yeah, unless, unless he's not fully fit. Yeah, or there's something that we don't know, you know, at training or have you tried him there, seen him there a lot, and it's not, it's not happening for him. I don't know, but it'd be very interesting to see. I mean, they play Atletico at the weekend, so already we will have an idea of that okay, game is huge. It's a huge game for top four, for I think the momentum, for psych- psychologically, for for the mood, for everything. Whoever you start, if you think that. Aubameyang is, is already fit and ready to start. I doubt no. it. His last game was 6th of December. So that's a long time without playing. You know, you go with Memphis, you go with Luke de Jong because he's solid and you're going to cross the ball. Or, you know, I don't know. It'd be fascinating. I mean, I think it's going to tell us volumes because you look at this game this weekend. And obviously, we don't, we don't often do previews and whatnot. Mm. But you have a situation where, you know, they haven't played in 10 days now, no? Yeah. Uh, or it'll be two weeks by the time the game rolls around. I'm ass- unless Memphis is not fit, if you don't start him in this game, you really are sending a message because Alba is obviously not going to start since no. he just arrived, yeah, right? Yeah. Adama, I'm assuming, is not going to start. Yeah, Ansu okay. Fati's injured. Yeah, you know, if you want to, you if you want to put Gavi in the front three, fine. Okay. Gavi yeah, Ferran yeah, yeah, Torres. If if I'm Memphis and I look around and I say, "You're really going to play Luke De Jong ahead <laughs> of me?" De Jong. Yeah, I mean, right? I think he would explode. I mean, yeah. So. There's a lot going on. There's going to be is, uh, this yeah. race for fourth place, and I think it is because I think Betis can stay up there. Yeah, I agree um, completely. This is going to be one of the real themes between now and the end of the season. Yeah. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.